know, it was just, we were just having a discussion about coal, coal, you know, Trump. Coal is our future. Anyway, and, you know, you know, this person was saying to me, mm. whose opinion I really respect, mm. was saying to me that, like, you know, they should have stopped mining for coal 30 years ago. Mm. Because it's, you know, if you think about it, it's, it's, it's just, it's just, it's primitive, it's a primitive source of fuel. And you ruined the environment and destroyed the beauty of, like, you know, our country, the Appalachian Mountains, because of strip mining and mining for coal. And we have so many other solutions now. You know, we have electric vehicles, we have um, solar power, you know. You know, I mean, you know, there's a story that by David Mamet, you know, a playwright about, it's called The Water Engine. And it's a, it's a true story, apparently, about a man who actually invented an engine that could power a car that ran on water. It, it happened, really. It's even possible chemically, if you think about it. Well, he disappeared. They think it was the oil companies. Those inventions disappeared too. And that's what I mean. I mean, they're still mining coal. I mean, you know, we could, you know, there are other things we could do. There are lots of other things we could do. But they mine coal because they don't want to lose a steady source of income. The people who run the coal, you know, factories and the miners. They don't want to lose their jobs. And what I'm saying is I'm not for people losing their jobs or being, you know, or for people like, you know, losing their empires, though, you know, there's some question about the ethics of having an empire. But let's just not get into that now. Let's just say, no, I'm not into like depowerizing people or making people take a knee or something because, you know, their mode of making a living is outmoded, as it were. Because, you see, in my life, I've done three or four things to became outmoded. I used to be a journalist. That became outmoded. So, you know, I used to do photography. That became outmoded. I still do those things, but they're not, in, they're, they're not how you make money these days. Not the way I was taught. And that's fine, okay? I'm mean, expected to adapt. Like, how many times do we hear about these, these craftsmen and these, these professionals who are now out of a job because technology, you see, has taken, has taken it past them? What about when we have all these robots and artificial intelligences doing all our work for us on the assembly lines? Instead of turning around saying, we've been liberated, we'll all turn around and say, I don't have a job! And what I'm trying to, to get across, I mean, really get across here, and I'm not joking here, I'm trying to get across the idea that if that's how you think in your society, then you need to change your society. Okay, I mean, one time I was riding with this woman who was a big, you know, was sort of a den mother for all the students at my college who were really idealistic. And one time we're riding along, she says, you know, David, all you do is talk about the problems with the world. Well, what do you think we should do to solve them? I said, huh, well, you know, it was the first time anyone ever asked me that. I said, well, I think we need to re-examine everything from scratch, and I think we need to completely start over. And she went, right. And, you know, that's what I mean. That proved my point. If you can't do that, we're screwed, okay? Because, you know, society is a completely a human invention, all right? And if you're going to turn to society and say it can't be changed, then there's something fundamentally wrong, okay? Because society can be changed. It's been changed over and over and over and over and over and over again from the Jews, you know, you know, the exodus of the Jews from Egypt all the way to, you know, the civil rights movement, you know, all the way to the gay rights movement, all the way to the women's sexual assault movement and you know the me too movement and you know it's like all these things what do they do they're trying to change society that's right and what i'm saying is that if you're going to have a society which forces people to do unethical things in order to survive then you have made it so they can't do the right thing okay i mean if there was some way for the people who, who mine coal, all that whole industry, to know that if they would still have a job, or as it were, or a way to support their lives, then, you see, we wouldn't be continuing to ruin the environment, which is going to kill us all. So, because these people have become segregated and are just trying to survive, we're all going to die. Okay? That's what happens when people can't do the right thing because of economics, okay? Because of economics, you give people a reason they have to do something wrong, okay? 
that's a problem. That's a fundamental problem that needs to be examined. Otherwise, we're never going to be able to solve any of our problems, and we're going to be living on the surface of the moon, okay? Or the Earth will become like the surface of the moon because everyone is too interested in making money, and the reason for that is because everyone turns to them and says, you're nothing without money. And so now they'll do anything to do it. They don't get it. They don't even collude with the Russians. The Russians will collude with us. That's what's so ironic about it. Imagine all those Russians studying our Facebook pages and learning everything about us, unaware they're doing exactly what Facebook is, was designed to do. So they're already part of our system. Get it? They don't even get that. And that's what I mean. It's this lack of a certain self, you know, social self-awareness, okay? Social self-awareness. You can have your individual self-awareness, but then you need to have a social self-awareness, okay? Because otherwise, it's just going to be everyone trying to kill everyone else because basically the money makes you act like a maverick individual because that's the only way you or your group or your maverick group, as it were, is going to survive. But it's not going to be by doing the right thing because if the only way to get money is by doing the wrong thing, then that's what people are going to do because the idea of survival is more important to most people than the idea of doing the right thing, you see? Most people aren't going to sacrifice their lives to do the right thing. So you either have to acknowledge that and acknowledge that we're all going to die or be living in, like, you know, domes, biospheric domes while the sky roils with our chemicals in the air, okay? Or you're going to have to acknowledge that the people in Appalachia can't stop mining coal without dying. 